So if I remember right, yeah. If I if I remember right, they said I had the ability to do something now, didn't they? I I feel like that was correct. Because I got the light medallion and the forest medallion. I don't remember what the the Deku seedling said. Oh, hold on. While I'm at it, hold on. I mean. There, there was a there was a comment on the YouTube video about my proper inability to say things. Hold on, I gotta, I want to find it, cause I, I want to, I want to apologize <laughs> on behalf of the inability to say things. Um, okay, so Kokiri or Kiri, with the more focus on the key part. So Ko Kiri. I guess is how that would be said. I so I I feel like I am saying it decently correct. I just always like I don't stress it as hard for that key part. I drop that down and I focus on the when I say cokery. So I think Hey Edoc Coke. Uh, you know, I. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Coke Kyrie, yeah, that's that's how we say it. Um. Okay. Furor. Not not Faror. F A R O R E. Is Furor. Because I would have said that as Faeror, but I don't know. Thanks, Edoc. I appreciate the, the sub. Four months. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay. Nehru instead of Nauru. Uh, why do I... F okay. So I want to I wanna say something real quick about pronunciations for this. Because I feel like all of these, like, correct pronunciations, like, more focus on what in voice acting they call the Cleveland accent, where you flatten all your vowels. And I'm a person who, by default, for most of my words, flatten them. But when it comes to the A's, I round my A's. Okay, so if you don't know, sorry, we were we were previously talking about the proper way to say the names of everything because apparently I'm getting it wrong and my YouTube comments keep blowing me up for it. Uh, so I wanted to like address this briefly. <laughs> um, but if you're not familiar with the concept of a Cleveland accent, a Cleveland accent means that you flatten your vowels. It's the most easily identifiable identifiable and understood American accent. The reason I phrase it like that is because you can identify a Southern accent that does not always mean that you can understand a Southern accent. For example, look at Cajun as an accent, but that's a different, that's, that is a, that, that is a different accent, but when you get, when you get too mixy between the Southern and the Cajun, it, no one can understand that. It's like, pure Irish. <laughs> There's just no hope. Um, but so with what's called a Cleveland accent, they flatten the A's. So when you say Cleveland, all vowels are flat. And uh, to think of an example of a flat versus a round vowel, the word ant. A-U-N-T. Ant. All flat. That's how Clevelanders would say it. Meanwhile, right? Hey, I'm walking here. See that? But like, that, it's not flat. Yeah. I when you, if anyone hasn't noticed, when I say the word aunt, I always say aunt. I round my a. I don't flatten it. Uh, which is not something that's actually common to my local dialect either. But I feel like most of the proper pronunciations. For Legend of Zelda all involve 
flattening the vowels, which is particularly like not something I do naturally because I've tried to unwork some of my flattening over my life because I've just eclectically picked up so many other things and I like the way that I pronounce aunt instead of ant because flattening that a physically hurts me a little bit say it the same way never thought about it yeah and it it literally just comes to the different like way and that like our our mouths say words um w when you get you think you have a midwestern accent though that's another possibility midwestern accents flatten a lot more of their vowels than the cleveland accent does uh, the way i would describe like the cleveland accent is it's kind of like an eclectic mix of a lot of things and it is like this isn't me just projecting a location uh, if you want to take a moment to google it be my guest look up cleveland accent it is a thing it's a common talked about thing there are plenty of examples of this thing yeah this yeah this is not me just projecting my local area this is like a real thing that um when you're learning about acting and dialects and everything like that that they teach you uh and it's because the cleveland accent is primarily all in like the upper nasal cavity and a little bit in the throat if you notice when you uh, look at different languages and different other accents where the sound comes from in your mouth determines the sound of the word that you produce so when you speak French, ferme la bouche, it's most of it's in here. I over enunciated with my jaw more so you could hear me better, but that's why they say that when you get drunk, you can speak French better. It's because it's all in the lips. Yeah, it's a really interesting thing. There's a few main, here, I'm gonna focus on me for a second for this. There's a few main places that you get auditory sounds from, and I'm gonna turn my head sideways and pull off my headphones so this way it can, make a little more sense when you see it but you have your nasal cavity here hold on rare rare instance of me with no glasses nasal cavity up here your the front of your lips the like kind of inside part of your mouth more focus on your tongue your jaw and your throat tend to be like the big I think the Midwest is more mouth, not throat. I So the Midwest, most of it is going to be hanging out up here in your nose, is a, is a big portion of it. It's also possible that you may have a Cleveland accent too, but you don't notice it until you try to overpronounce something you normally say. So, and in the way that you normally say it, don't change what you're saying, but think about the word aunt. Think about what part, or when, you know, if you say ant, you can feel it kind of buzzing in your nose if you really focus it. So think about how those sounds come. Um, when you like roll your R's in Spanish or Italian, it's in your tongue more than anything with a little bit of like the back of the throat. French is mostly in the lips and a little bit of the, the back of the throat. Uh, when you do voice acting stuff, so if you wanted to change how you sound, I know, right? So this is me talking normally. I speak primarily from my diaphragm. But if I'm changing my voice to say something kind of very sweet like this, I know it really sounds like I'm, I'm doing a lot of work with my jaw because you can even actually see my jaw moving a lot more so that this way I'm enunciating clearly. But it's really all being stuck up here in my nose. And that's why there's the whiplash for it, but that's why that sounds different is because my I'm cutting off most of my sound localization to just my nose. Whereas if I talk like this, where it's mostly all in the back of my throat and a lot more present in my jaw, I'm getting a deeper kind of masculine, kind of pushy kind of voice. It's all being trapped in this general area of my body, but I'm still using my diaphragm to push out the sound. So... All of this is an interlude to say, if I don't pronounce things properly for Legend of Zelda based on how people 
Right. So yeah, if if you ever want to like, f- if you ever want to try to do voices, try to think about like what parts of your mouth you're using and how you're using them. Because there's a character voice that I do that's kind of up here. And it sounds a little bit like a little kid, but that's mostly because I'm using a lot of my nose and the back of my throat just to kind of get this slightly raspy sound. Um, and you can hear it in other uh, performers as well. Uh, I'm not a fan of Jojo Siwa, but when you listen to her speak, you can hear more of the strain on her vocal cords when she talks. That's why she has such a raspy sound is because there's something different going on in the back of her throat. So... But yeah, the whole point of this was to say that if I don't pronounce things exactly as they're supposed to, um, when I'm reading it, she really did go crazy. She 100% crazy. Um, But I feel like a lot of the proper ways to say these are based on like flattened American accent. Um, Because I don't even know if like you were to look at the creators in Japan if they would pronounce the same things correctly because I just don't know enough about Legend of Zelda like I haven't I haven't watched interviews or anything like that um, and who knows if they call them something different completely but I will try to do my best based on how it's written and try to at least get all of the like letters there going forward but the way that I'm saying it may be different than what you would expect because I might be rounding out a vowel. I do appreciate ones where it's like, hey, the the focus for this word is more on the second syllable than the first. So focusing kokiri is a little, thank you, I appreciate it. It's also probably because I have my headphones off finally. Sorry, we've been we haven't actually been playing. I've been on a tangent about um, about accents and how that changes how you pronounce things, so that this way, when I spend the rest of the game uh, pronouncing everything wrong, <laughs> there may be a reason. Oh God, please tell me you didn't crash. Oh my God, it crashed. Hey, it's okay. I'm gonna load it back up again. All I did was walk around the room anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But there you go. So now, without spending any points, you guys have learned your random fact for the day. Um, and if you want to know how I've been trying to get all those voices for Rune Factory, it's been primarily from me changing where I'm putting my voice at and the reason why I have issues with certain types of voices or going back and forth from one to the other. So for example, uh, when I do the voice of Doug, it kind of sounds like this, where it's a little bit younger, but it's a lot more in the back of my throat. But then I need to take a minute before I can do Granny's voice, because Granny is kind of, she's in the back of the throat too, but she's a little bit up in the nose too, when I'm doing a nice, sweet old lady. Because she you, she uses the jaw and the back of the throat, and the nose, in a way that Doug just doesn't. So, you know, if you ever wanted to know why somebody has issues going from one voice that's similar to a different voice that's similar, it's because it's using the same part of the body. It just uses it differently. So, uh, and most of where I ended up learning this was primarily from when I went to acting school. Uh, I went to acting school when I was in high school. Half of my day was spent at acting school and half of my day was spent at what we called my home school, learning like the regular stuff that I'm supposed to be learning. Oh, I forgot to put this information on Discord. God help me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm still gonna keep it up in the background, but I gotta make things function. Also, my whole other monitor just decided to not function with me for some reason. This is going to be the stream of me having problems because I've been impatient and a fool this whole time. It's fine. Okay, yeah, let's just drop everything together. I can put out the information that I need. 
and then I can be smart about this and remember how to do my duties as a streamer. There we go. Okay. That's one step. This is two step. Okay, so the other monitor still was... There we go. The other monitor was not wanting to work for a minute, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, so there you go. You learned some fun stuff. Uh, while I never, like, while we never had any voice acting classes or anything like that at my acting school, um, they really wanted to stress sound localization because they wanted to start getting us into a position where we could pick up accents. And a lot of that was just us focusing on sound localization. Oh no. I think the software is behaving badly with my other monitor. Hold on. Come on. Thank you. Stop trying to prioritize stupid stuff. Reopen the application. This is not how I expected like the first half hour of the stream to go with me just ranting about uh, audio. <laughs> Okay, please tell me that you still want to function when I make you full screen. Okay, good. Now I can do things. I'm sorry, wait a second. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to tell me that I was out of that. Okay. So yeah, um, Prelude of Light, doesn't that mean I can go back in time? Now? I want to see. Uh, you know what would be smart of me? I know that I can look up the, I, I can look up the things at any point in time. Okay, so I, so back to this temple where you can go back in time. Okay, so this just is a teleportation spell. I say spell, I mean song. But then do I have to do the song of time here then? And that will allow me to go back? Oh no, I have to put the sword back in. I have to put the sword back in. I don't know where that nugget of information came from from the back of my skull, but it came there. I just, I want to just go back. Alright, first time going back. To a world not destroyed. Also, somebody on... The YouTube comments was talking about how there's a lot more heavy themes in Christ of like Christianity and earlier Zeldas that I didn't quite realize. I mean, it makes sense given that we're dealing with elves and knights and stuff. Oh my god, it's normal. Oh my god, it's normal. It's normal. Oh my god. It's normal. I never thought I'd be this happy. To see just a normal... Just the town being normal. I'm... I'm so happy. It's not all doom and gloom. Oh my god. Okay. So. Well, I don't think there's anything specifically that I have to do. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, so I do have an empty bottle. And I did want to keep that for future me. Um, I wanted to go back over here. Oh, right. I have to I have to be the kid that played a song, didn't I? To make it rain in the thing. 
I feel like that's correct. Hey. Navi, I can I can I can do what you want to do. But it's gonna have to be a minute, Navi. Cause yeah, I can even go after the um the sculptulas and everything now. Cause I think I need a little more to expand my bag. I don't remember how many sculptulas I've killed. How many did I kill? Oh yeah, and I gotta go take the um the skull mask to that one kid. I'm I'm really glad to be back to being young kid Link. Okay. Um Okay, let's go be the kid. I don't have to empty any of my bottles, thank you. Especially not when I have a fairy in one of them. All right, I gotta I gotta look up with the with the song. I almost called it a spell again. I'm really sorry. I've been watching. Um, oh god, what was it? Jobless reincarnation. I, it's a it's a weird isekai, but they all they talk about is uh, the importance of wordless spell casting. And so now I'm trying to like switch. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. Bard spell. Definitely just bard spell. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me turn that up just a little. Okay. A down up. A down up. All right. A down up. A down up. Did it. I don't know what that does for us. I'm glad. I'm glad because I really like it. I'm I'm not caught up. I'm getting there. I've been doing nothing but watching that. Thank you. I want to. Uh, haven't seen the second part yet. Oh man, part one was like so demoralizing. Like, you've, you've just felt so bad for Rudeus by the end of part one. Um, part two makes your soul feel lighter. Based on where I'm at. It makes my soul feel a lot lighter. And I'm a lot happier. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. I was, like, legit kind of a little depressed because of, like, what Rudeus was going through. I was, like, feeling it by proxy. And I was like, I gotta stop this. This... Like, if this anime doesn't start getting, like, emotionally healthier, I'm going to have problems. Okay, now I can go through here. Oh. I don't want to. Oh. Need a uh, Oculus Link cable to play the PC games that are going in Quest 2. Yeah, you do. I have one for mine, but I'm not, like, I'll let you borrow it, but I'm not parting with it. Because I ended up getting the cable when, oh, good God, why? Um, I ended up getting the cable when I was still, like, working at the, the game store. Oh, God. Could you just... As I try to remember to do things. <laughs> Why do you take two? Dang it. Oh, great. I can tell by the giant skeleton that's over there for whatever reason. I don't... Hey, Navi. Um... You want to tell me what that's about? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they're saying. Great. Cool. Great. I hate it. I hate it. I hate all of it. Why is this in the bottom of a well? Is this even sanitary? I 
don't think it has to be first party. But is this... Look for the Eye of Truth. Well. Um... Okay, so why is that bar there? Didn't learn this until too late, but any mounds that have a weeping scar on them can be bombed. Oh. Well, that's convenient. I guess I'll start with this pile of skulls then. Hey, practical. Uh, thanks, but no. We don't do that here. Uh, let's see. Do, you, do we think they got hacked? Let's see, what does it say? Count created last year, probably got hacked. What is this, Warn? Warn what? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, no. So first things first, we're going to report. Um, we're gonna go scam. I just always like making this real easy for somebody who has to look at this later. And block. And we're solved. I think. At least on my end that... Did that not go away yet? I don't want to pin it. Just delete it. There we go. Yeah, we don't do that. There we go. Well, I wanted to... I wanted to report them first and then... And then delete it. Because then if I report it first, it's... If I delete it, uh, the whole comment goes away, including the sender. So it's harder to report the scam account. Like, if it's gone. So I always, like, report it first, and then I... Uh... Then I get rid of it. Alright, I'm just gonna walk away. That did nothing. But I can I can I can use bombs. Uh I'm not seeing this. I might be wrong on this. I didn't see it. Places lie to you, don't trust your eyes. Hmm. It's weird though. Oh. I guess that explains some things. I thought it was interesting that my boomerang went all the way through it. Oh, oh my god. Big pass. Oh, that's a hole. I don't know if I want to go in that hole. Do I want to go in that hole? I'm in the hole. Great, now how do I get out of the hole? Oh, I got a bomb chew! I like bomb chews. Carry and place with C. Okay. You can crawl up walls, aim well to release. Got it. I hear the floaty thing coming back. I want to wait till that passes. Good, 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 good. Alright. So, I, I mentioned this last stream, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, I'm currently sitting next to a plant of garlic. It is a very well taken care of plant of garlic. It is reaching the end of its lifespan as a plant and only as an edible food now. Um, the only reason that that matters so much is primarily because it seems to be doing this thing 
where it's being extra garlicky. Like extra garlic. Can I open that? No. All right. Uh, so my eyes are killing me. They are burning horribly. Hey, you know, one of these days, I'll end up eating the garlic. What the hell is that thing? What is this, Resident Evil? Could you not be on top of me? I get that there's a thing. You know what? I was waiting until that thing passed. What the hell is that? It'll pull you in. Oh, great. Just exactly what I didn't want. This wall, it says something's here. Danger below. That's what it says. I don't know, man. It's kind of Jack Skellington meets Cheshire Cat. At least in my opinion. I don't, I don't want to go in the hole. I don't do well with horror games, guys. If I ever, if I ever look and turn around and all of a sudden there is something behind me in the tunnel, I am immediately uninstalling the game. I just, I want everyone to know this. I can't handle that. that is, that's too much for me. What do you guys say, Navi? I know I just said that very wrong. You need a key to open the door that is locked and chained. I'm, I... Thank you, Captain Obvious. Suddenly turns into Resident Evil. You see, this is what I'm getting at. Yeah, uninstall the cartridge. Hey, look. It's fine to pull the information off of my own existing cartridges. Oh, that's what he meant by danger below. He meant right below. Okay, so we are dealing with a house of mirrors. Noted. I will take falling into a random hole. We did. We did get those. That we did. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll take dealing with this house of mirrors over... What the hell? I'll deal with that over having something follow me in the tunnel. Oh, do we have coffins? Oh, it's those things. Okay, wait, I learned how to deal with those. I only learned how to deal with those because somebody came into work showed me a video of like a an Unreal Engine 5 project that somebody is doing with this game specifically and it showed killing those things in the project that was the one thing I learned Can you get off me? Okay, that didn't teach me anything. I learned nothing. I learned nothing. It's fine. It's fine. I learned nothing. <laughs> I, I learned literally nothing. I'm just gonna move. Oh good, there's bombs, okay. For whatever reason. Um, and I'm gonna... I, why do I have a feeling the liquid's gonna kill me? Why do I get that feeling? Oh. Well. I mean, I really could. Okay, there's there's a hole. 
Okay, so these are multiple other holes I could have fallen into. Is what I'm seeing. Did they purposely make this a long run so I have to, like, practically hurt myself while I do this? That wasn't far enough. You know what? Screw it. Oh, because I threw it. You know what? I'm not going to keep wasting bombs. Thank you. Nailed it. Oh, not this freak again. Could you move, kid? Could you stop? Really did nothing, huh? Yeah, could let my back get to him. Really, I guess I could just use magic, but screw it. No, no hugs. They don't get no hugs. They weren't nice. Oh, at least I got a map. Well, I'll take that. Alright, so I feel like that's all the stuff that I could or needed to get from there. I think. Oh! I'll gladly take Deku Seeds. Is there bombs in any of these? By chance? I know it's a bit of a hard stretch, but... Getting a lot of seeds. Give me bombs! Am I not gonna get bombs out of this? <sighs> this rate, I'm just gonna assume it's a no. Money. Money. Which I'll take. S just still nothing, huh? Alright. Uh, yes. I believe it does also charge the quest, too. <sighs> Get up there. What I wanted you to do was jump, kid. You're supposed to auto jump on the edge. Off brands probably don't, though. I. Yeah, I don't know about those. Gotta justify that $80 price tag. Look, what I'm saying is if. If you find it online, like, let's. Let's say that there's, like, a really good deal going on. Like, at Best Buy or whatever, you can get places to price match. That is an option that you do have. Okay, since the sun's setting, I gotta turn up my exposure a little. Because I didn't pay near that much for mine. But then again, you know, I did a lot of good couponing. There we go. I got them all. Oh, cool. Now I'm stuck in here. Alright, kid. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they are saying. I don't know if I want to. Okay. 
Where am I at now? Okay, I'm back by the entrance. <sighs> I really should just kill that thing. I just don't want to go through the hassle. I mean, wouldn't it be a better idea to get sucked in by that thing and then fight it? Or if I get sucked in by that thing, is it a, I'm an instant goner? Probably instant goner, but... Now you won't get sucked in. Oh, man. Okay, so there's something going on here. I'm gonna wait for it to come back. Oh, I can just listen to what she says from here. The water flowing out of this statue is flooding the entire floor. So what I'm hearing is I'm going to have to do something about that. But what? What do I have at my disposal? Storm, time, sun? No, that makes it daytime. I mean, I guess I could just do the, the Song of Time. I'm just, I'm still just gonna write it down. I know it's here for me to reference, but if this is a regular, like, thing, my brain is way too tired from everything I've done at work today to actually remember how to do anything. Down, left, A, down. Okay, so Song of Time wasn't the answer. So, probably Zelda's song. I'll just kill this thing. It moves really- oh good god! Where the hell did that come from and why are you there? Okay. So this is the other place I could have fallen down to. Oh god, he's back. Stop getting Oh god, get off me. I hate that he freezes you. Get off me. Get off me. Thank you. I really should just burn him. That would have been so smart. 20 out of 10, my best decision would have been. It's fine. Die. Die, just get lost, get gone. Forever and ever and ever. Alright. Crawl back up to the extra creepy room. And I still don't want to give piggyback rides. He was not very nice to me. I like that conveniently, by the way. Uh, and I mean very conveniently. You know what? I've, I was saying words. 
I have no idea what any of those words were going to be. I don't... I don't... I was saying something. And the whole thought just... Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. You were somewhere. And I'm sure whatever it was was going to be great. 20 out of 10 would have been the best comment ever. And that... No. No. That was... That was a... That... It died. Conveniently something. I don't know what it was. Something about putting me back to the beginning of the map or something. But it, that, that's not convenient. Oh! I remember what it was. Oh, it's conveniently unlocked and unbarred from behind me. Now that I've gone through it. I promise, guys. I'll try to do better. I, I'll try. I make no promises. 